Uh, welcome to Wisher Sports Centre. It's a bit of a change from this time last week when Glasgow City were in Bronby. But a big task nonetheless, despite it's not been regular venue for Motherwell, the host here tonight for the Wayside. They can win the title with a win, with games to spare. It's been a little while since they've had that luxury of games to spare to win a league title, just how dominant they have been in SWPL 1 this campaign. And it's a torrentially wet night here, and it's not been an easy one to try and win that title for Motherwell, side who've been decent at this level after promotion, looking to cause an upset here, and for the others, we keep the title race alive for a little bit longer. First corner kick of the game, four and a bit minutes played. On, oh, it's in. And it may well have came off Kirsty Howe at last. It certainly came off a defending foot. And it's just what you want when you're looking for a title. Difficult night weather wise. And well, Kirsty Howe's final touch was the elusive one, the important one. Goal 34 for the season. Don't play love, keeping it alive. Crichton to blast, and oh, it's a decent dig there from long distance. Why not a night like this? Piece of ball, even if it was near the fingertips. Out in the turn. What a time for Foley. Leon Ross breaking her neck to get forward, and what a run it is. Quite lean towards clear side. It's a good try, it's an excellent save to deny the second. What a move it was. and Still alive here, Shine and pushed out wide. Ross. Oh, and it's skipped through a wee way. Angles for a corner. Didn't quite bobble of it. It's how it wanted, but another good chance here for City. He scored from one corner. Ross and then Clark, and there's the bullet header. There's the second goal. And two goals in the. First quarter of the match. Is that their statement for the evening in this terrible conditions weather wise on the road midweek? Heading quickly towards another league title. And that's what she's done since come to the club. Big impact. Jarvis Foley's free kick for Sinclair. It's a control to weave and Doherty. Wonderful, just behind Shine. But there comes Howitt though, and that's rolled in. It's a second for Howitt on the night. 3 0, not even anywhere near half an hour played. They are getting the job done in style. And the play down that left channel. Doherty continued to run, got round the defender, whipped into Pebbly behind Shine. But there was how it. Shines control again back with Ross. Oh, and it's been lost by Hunter Foley trying to help in its way. And it has been helped in its way in. And the slippery ball causing problems. And surely job done 25 on the clock, 4 0. Well, remember they scored eight at Peters Hill very early on in the season in the early throwings. Haven't played Mother Hill since, but that one fell for Foley, a persistence made off. And number four. Crichton acrobatic for Ross. Quickly here. For Shine, she's on side, clear Shine. Oh, and that is just gorgeous. It's sublime. Well, they've had two or three goals that have been absolutely delightful. And, and Ross herself, Seth Lambert, that's four now she's set up in this first half. And it's showboat stuff on the half hour mark for number five on the night. And it's turned into a title party an hour early from the full-time whistle. What a goal that was.
Ross. Oh, and it came off the woodwork and eventually it smashed in. 34 minutes, six goals. And Leanne Crichton, who I know speaking to William, was totally up for this. As uh, it looks like everyone's been up for this, they have got the job done in this first half, and it's been emphatic. And Motherwell have been blown away. Another Leanne Ross corner. Is that five assists now? Extraordinary. The captain still such a key player and not clear at all. And then it went. Genesoli in the way now for Sinclair. Space for Howitt. Looking for a hat trick, of course. Howitt. Shine. Howitt. Oh, it's not far away at all. And it nearly was the hat trick of two. Four players linking up so well between the two. One to the other. The other again. Howitt just not quite keeping it down. So Leonos again. 43rd minute. Just skips away from Clark's head. Garner can't clear it. Doherty. Rolling across Gerasoli, still up there. Shine trying to control. Jill off to blast. Handball there. Arms up and Chelsea McEachran. Well, this has been just top of the night. You know, top of the first half, top of the season. It has been a virtuoso performance from Leon Ross this evening. Set up five. Set of six. She can score here before half time for seven. And leave a few speechless. And I think many are speechless, including myself. It has been an extraordinary first half from the 38 year old Glasgow City captain. Not many more words needed. It's a seventh goal in our first half blitz. Leon Ross with a free kick, a trademark, despite the best efforts from the goalkeeper. Five of the other six goals have been due to our crosses or deliveries. Just magnificent. Kekrin. In for Rice, Reed. And there's a snatch strike which has to be saved by Clark. Is still alive there, Monroe trying to keep her alive here. Just only doing a good job. A little bit of life in the Motherwell attack. Not seen too much. There's been one way traffic up the other direction. Alright, just going alone. And skips by that post. Just need to keep on running despite the defenders building up around. Clintock decides to use Doherty rather than fling it into the box. Doherty now obliges. Oh, and the flag goes up. And Gerasoli for a millisecond touch had scored. I smile from Doherty. Lovely ball through. Oh, and what a finish that is. Off the inside of the post. And it's been a quiet second half. They've been able to enjoy their football, but it's clear across the air and cute stuff. And just another bit of gloss to this scoreboard, this seizing in the SWPA1. And uh, well, a player that's thrived since joining the club before the summer break. What footwork from McLaughlin. Oh, solo work, superb. Here's McClintock. That's an excellent save from Hunter. Sinclair. Oh, it's a brilliant strike. 
Now McClintock couldn't score from close distance. Great save. And Sinclair scored twice in the second half. And a showboater. Oh, it's turned out to be a party evening. The city are getting closer to officially celebrating the title again. What a curling effort. All oh, the top for the Hunter. Up there was Reid. Adams trying to feed it back in. Clark out. Clintock. Doherty. That's a fabulous ball if it was intended. It found Sinclair anyhow. McClintock. Now she's got space to burn. Connor got back, but. Oh, brilliant! And she scored a stunner at PSL against Motherwell. And well, she didn't quite get her goal a couple of minutes ago, but she has now. Sensational from Jordan McClintock. He's in a bit of a spell out injured, but came in and played a good part of the game. It's forfeit. She just came on here in the second half. And with 10 to play. Scored another stunner against Motherwell this season. We had just about everything tonight with some great goals. It's uh, absolutely an amazing Leon Ross captain's performance in the first half. Well, Joe Love cap it off with a long range. Spectacular. Oh, it's off the crossbar. Didn't go in. Clark can't get there. Can Jenna Soli get in? No, she can't. Still in play, though. Well, that would have wrapped things up once and for all. <laughs> Joe Love <laughs> with a cork and try. But Sutton knew the job they had to do tonight. They had other chances, but wanted to get it done at the very <laughs> earliest possibility. And they have done the final whistle goes in 13. Well, it's unlucky for some, it's unlucky for the rest. And for the first time in this. Yes, we feel one era of eight teams. City have got the job done with plenty of time to spare. It hasn't been easy throughout the course of the season, but such a dominating season with still three matches to go. And a crushing night here to get the job done as well. Another historic occasion for this football club. A side that just keeps on winning titles. And as the pressure builds and the... Other sides in the league get closer. City, this season anyway, have just pulled themselves clear again. And the celebrations have begun in Wishaw for Glasgow City tonight. It was all perhaps meant to be with Leon Ross, the captain. Played 45 minutes, but scoring a free kick, a trademark free kick. But also set out five of the first half goals. In the end, it finished with 10 goals, 11 points clear. That magic gap, that magic number, that means they can't get caught. It is 13 in a row, or to quote Kirsty Howitt, 13 in a row, here we go. Celebrations are well underway. It's finished here in Wishaw. Motherwell nil, Glasgow City 10. Glasgow City, you're 13 in a row. Scottish Women's Premier League Champions. Our friendship for you to be a celebration, guys. Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I'm <laughs> 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 